here you are. Well, I brought everything you asked for. Your, your makeup kit, all your wigs, my weirdest coats. FYI, they're covered in cat hair. <laughs> all right. The cats had more babies, and these are their babies. Let's get up. I'll show you who belongs up on that stage. Is all of this just to impress a 12-year-old? <sighs> Only 60%. The rest is about achieving my dream. In fact, he dies if he doesn't get a blow. And he always proves his voyage to us. From Bumbley. Me? No. I'm Tony Ravioli. I'm supposed to fix the electrical pipes. Forget about it. So you thought that you would go up on that stage in your homemade costume, sing a bunch of nonsense in the middle of a Broadway show. Well, good for you, because you just discovered the secret of cats. <laughs> My kittens. The great mother cat has eaten another placenta. A kitty is born. His name is from Bumbly. From Bumbly. Meow, meow, meow. Um, I know this is a shock, but do you really think that you're the first actor desperate, delusional, or narcissistic enough to think, that should be me up there? Are you saying cats? Doesn't exist. It all started in 1980 when a New Haven production of Hello, Dolly got Legionnaire's disease and didn't show up. A disgruntled actor in the audience saw his opportunity and, shall we say, pounced. <laughs> Inspired by his day job as a Times Square Garfield, he delivered an impromptu two-hour monologue about cats. He called himself Mr. Mizzlemitz. All hail Mizzlemitz. So the whole show is made up? We just do some poppers and say whatever comes to mind. Jellicle, Griddlebone, Mungo Jerry, Jimmy McCracklin's. But I thought the show was based on some poems by T.S. Eliot. And what is Eliot an anagram of? To lie. Well, what about Andrew Lloyd Webber? He wrote the show. Did he? Look carefully. Andrew Lolo Maloney. The mind sees what it wants to see. Also, a lot of people can't read cursive. So am I, like, in Cats now? <laughs> To the extent that anyone is in cats, yes! Welcome from Bumbley. From Bumbley! <laughs> I regret the name. Well, we all regret our names, but we don't regret the Broadway credit, the applause, or the pile. Pile, 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 Jellicle pile. The overhead on this place is insane. That's why we go into the audience. It's all kids and old people, the two demographics that drop the most stuff. Ooh, a phone. Nice! Rumble Shanks dines first. And now, my kitties may feast. <laughs> Cats only has one rule. Tell no one. No one. Ooh, a life alert. I can finally shower with confidence. 